Hey guys, Roger Sumer here, and I'm a bit sick, actually no, very sick, but I'm deciding to do a Medieval 2 commentary, because I haven't done a Total War commentary in so long, so excuse my really bad voice right now, but yeah, this is a 2v2, I played with Swedish Lenschnet, and I'm playing as the Mongols, while Swedish is playing as, I forget, but both of us, we're facing off against Russia, and Egypt, I think. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to unpause this. This was a rather long battle. I mean, it's lower. Shit. Okay. <laughs> well. As you can see, my Mongol horse archers are doing some damage on these Devor cavalry, which are basically armored horse archers of Russia. And, uh... There's some SARS guard, and there's a cavalry engagement I started on my flank, and it is Mongol heavy lancers versus SARS guard, and I just outnumber him locally, but his troops are definitely superior, I think. I also got these levy spearmen, this, it was just a waste unit, so I decided, hey, why not throw it in with the cav? So I got my horse archers firing, bodyguard fighting, and my heavy lancers fighting as well. And there's mayhem. And, um,. Swedish, I was deployed in this section right here, but Swedish told me, oh yeah, Swedish is playing in Sicily, and uh, he told me to move over to this flank to fight the Egyptians. So we basically did a flank shift, so now he's going to face the, uh, the Russians, and I'm going to face the Egyptians. But what actually happens, because of teamwork, is we both face the Russians at the same time, so as you can see, I'm starting to destroy his SARS guard with the help of the Sicilian cavalry. And meanwhile, my horse archers are just harassing uh, units that routed previously. And you can see the Russian army marching up. And forgive me, I never mentioned what my army looked like. So I'm going to do that right here. This is the Sicilian army. He has a couple of dismounted Norman knights, sword and buckler infantry mixed up. And then he has pike militia in the front in the defensive formation, protecting his Pavi's crossbowmen. And, excuse me, the Russian is just charging like a madman. He has dismounted Boyar's sons, dismounted Drazina, Birdich, Axemen, so very good infantry, if, if I'm correct. And I do not want my bodyguard fighting these Birdich Axemen, because I think they have armor piercing. So now the Pike Militia is basically doing what it does best and fighting the Russians off from the front. So basically it's just me and Swedish versus the Russians. And uh, I guess I'm in charge with defeating the Russian cavalry. And pretty soon we're going to use our cavalry to uh, finish off the infantry fight with the Russians. So there's still some fighting going on. Russia detached some Drusina, dismounted Drusina. So my Lancers are just fighting. And my bodyguard and some other cavalry hammer and anvil along with Sicilian cav. So the infantry fight, let's check out how that's going. And it looks like Swedish has got this under control. He's starting to outflank. But I think the pike militia are pretty much disintegrated. They have only half their men left. So yeah, we pretty much defeated Russia over here. He charged in his remaining Tsar's guard. And there's also some Dvor cavalry, but I think that and my horse archers were fighting each other. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I sent my horse archers after his Dvor cavalry. I'm probably saying that wrong, but whatever. And now I have another unit so two units of heavy lancers versus one unit of SARS guard and some more SARS guard come pouring in meanwhile I got my bodyguard I'm probably microwing somewhere else got my levy spearmen and over here some Russian units came back from routing but it's not going to be a big deal because Swedish can easily dismantle the rest of their forces and I think now is when there was some stuff going on over here actually lots of stuff 
So I had some dismounted heavy lancers and dismounted light lancers, and Egypt was just charging his cavalry into them, trying to defeat Soon our cowardly foe will flee like a whipped dog. some of the Mongol archers that I had. So he managed to rout some of my Mongol archers, or Mongol infantry, these dudes right here. And meanwhile I got my light lancers dismounted and dismounted heavy lancers in reserve. So now the royal man looks pretty badass. Soon our cowardly foe will flee like a whipped dog. They are fighting. Meanwhile, the the uh, the Egyptian brought Sudanese gunners. These dudes right here, so pretty deadly right there. And then Nubian archers as well. Those fools cannot stand against us. So very African army. And now, uh, for some more diversity, he brought some dismounted Arab cavalry and some really tough Tabardiara. No. Tabardaria. Tabardaria. These dudes are armor piercing, I guess. I don't know. They're they're tough infantry. Give them that. And there's some Nafatunes, of course. I brought my own Nafatunes, I think, but they don't really do much. So my army is heavily depleted. And... Swedish's army is rather in a much better position, especially his archer we force. The enemy warlord is running like a star. We have captured the enemy general as he fled. Sit him with the old women where he belongs. Gotta love that Mongol humor. So these Archibuses are actually fighting off the Royal Mamluks. That's pretty funny. Oh yeah, there's Norman knights here too, that's probably why. And there's more mounted infantry coming in. So these are mounted crossbowmen. And that finishes off the Mamluks. Meanwhile, I think those Sudanese gunners are just like decimating my people. I don't know what the hell I was doing. And over here, I'm still trying to finish off the Russian cavalry, I guess. And I think I bring my remaining heavy cav, which is just my bodyguard, I think. Yeah, I bring my bodyguard over for support. So basically we got some Pavi's crossbowmen left, and some dismounted light and heavy lancers, very few pike militia, and I don't know how much cav Swedish has, but he has a decent amount. So now the battle is pretty even at this point, and meanwhile my dudes are just being shot down, because I'm dumb. So uh, I think Swedish told me at this point to not attack until his forces were in position and that made sense so I'm, I'm starting to reorganize my troops because they're just a big mess because of uh, the cavalry charges from the Egyptians earlier so I'm setting up my uh, Mongol infantry trying to get them to start firing at the enemy See the enemy run before our might we will leave nothing behind but widows and orphans and so now the Egyptian is marching up meanwhile we're just firing at each other he goes point blank range with the Sudanese gunners, so I was like, oh shit. And my dudes were still on skirmish mode, so they ran away. But my dudes easily could have charged these Sudanese gunners. We need to act. And now I started getting the charge, hopefully before a volley starts firing. But that's too late. Oh wow, sent some Mongol horse archers. And they took out the Sudanese gunners. But now they are fighting the Tabari the uh And now our lines are about to engage. What an awkward moment. So my horse archers are pretty much dead. Meanwhile the Egyptian army is rather full. Looks perilous. He's starting to throw. Uh, we are winning this battle. Soon our cowardly foe will flee like a whipped dog. He's starting to throw some Nafatun bombs. And meanwhile, I'm trying to get this Mongol infantry to, you know, flank these uh, people right here. But my uh, my heavy lancers are doing pretty decent actually. They're not dying very fast, which is good for me. And there's also some pike militia in the background.
some of my line is starting to crumble and uh, part of the Egyptians line crumbled as well so now we're just mobbing wherever we can to go for a charge whenever possible and this is the important flank I think uh, Swedish is good infantry his dismounted men at arms and Norman Knights are fighting against the dismounted Arab cab and once we win on one sector we can wrap around and meanwhile where the hell are my Mongol infantry they're right here I don't know why they keep running away that was just really annoying but yeah I think pretty soon I get them into flank so there's just mayhem everywhere Slain the desert dog. Make sure his men join. We are crushing our enemy. Those fools cannot stand against us. And so I think I charge my Nafatunes and stuff. Our men are under attack. We need to act. Oh sweet, there's Hashashims in here. That's badass. And now because of that, they are starting to lose. The Arabs starting to lose and over here, that was a good charge by Swedish. Now he's probably going to hammer an anvil, but he doesn't need to. Good shit. And now here comes the glory charge. And that wipes out part of the Arab line. And now they're starting to mass route. And now we've got the Egyptian army on the run. So that was a really good game, really intense, especially at the end. So I'm just going to fast forward. Our warriors have driven off the enemy. So we have fought and we have won. Good game to my opponents and good game to Swedish. I will post a link to Swedish's channel in the description. I hope you all have a nice day. There's going to be more Rome 2 content soon. But I just need to record it. I'm lazy lately. So, I will see you guys next time.